Welcome to another video on my channel. In this video, we are going to learn how we can resolve the cores issue in ASP.NET Core. Before we begin, I must tell you that this is a very informative video, so it is recommended not to skip any part. To save time, you can increase the video speed. Let's get started. As you can see, I am getting a cores error on this web page. Let's have a quick look of what I am doing. I have this web API created in ASP.NET Core. It has only one method. Let's test this method in Swagger. This is the URL for the get method and it's returning a success message. Now let's open the client application from where I'm calling this API. Here I have a simple Ajax request to the same URL. I'm printing the response from the API in green color. And in case of error, I am printing the error message in red color. This is the error message. So let's move toward the solution without wasting any more time. Open your API project. Stop this project. Go to Solution Explorer. Right click on the project and select Manage NuGet Packages. Click on Browse tab. Search for Microsoft.ASP.NetCore.Course. Install this package. Press Apply. Press I accept. Ok, the package has been installed. Open program.cs. We will add a middleware app.usecourse options We are going to allow any origins. Also, we are going to allow any method. And at the end, we are going to allow any headers. Run the API. Now open the web application and refresh the page. So now the cores error is gone and we can see the success response. We have resolved the issue, but any web application can access this API, which is not right. Before we continue and see what is the proper way to resolve this issue, let's go through very basic concepts. Now we will understand what is same origin and why it is important. Same origin is a security policy implemented by browsers to prevent a website accessing data from another website. Assume you are logged into your Facebook account and you have a malicious website opened in the next tab. Without the same origin policy, JavaScript on the malicious website can do anything with your Facebook. Like it can read your messages, post status on your behalf, or send a friend request. So that is why same origin policy is important. Browser do not block any request between same origin. URLs have same origin when they have identical scheme, host, and port. In following URL, HTTPS is the scheme, localhost is the host, and 5050 is the port. These two URLs are from same origin and resource sharing between them will not be blocked by the browser. The next three URLs are different from first two URLs. This one has a different scheme. It is using HTTP. The second one has different host. And the last one has a different port. Cores is a standard by W3C. It lets the server break same origin rule, meaning that it will allow other websites to access data. Cores does not make things safer, it just relaxes the security. While defining the course policy, you can choose list of websites that are allowed to access data and can also choose the methods that can be accessed. Let's jump back to the code. Remove these conditions now. Let me add some code here. This code will allow selected origins to get data. If you have multiple origins, you can pass multiple strings separated by comma. Let's run the web application. This application has a URL localhost 7018. Come back to API code and here we have allowed the same URL. 
Now run the API. Refresh the application. Ok, now the API is only available for localhost 7018. The browser will only allow localhost 7018 to access this API. All other web applications trying to access this API will be blocked by the browser. Now let's add more methods in the API. Now we have post method, put method and delete method. Save the file, run the API. Here we have four methods in our API. Now open the web application. Let me add the code to call the new methods. We have a post ajax request here. This is the put request and this is the delete request. Add the div here to display response. Ok now we are calling all four methods of the API and displaying the response. Refresh the application. Notice get and post requests are successful but error occurred in put and delete. Open the developer console. So we have a course policy error here. Get and post methods are used to retrieve data. Whereas put is used to update resources and delete is used to delete resources. So the get and post are considered less risky than put and delete. Browser will block these two methods by default. We will see how to resolve this but before that notice the core error is different from the previous core error. This course error was faced with the get request but for put and delete course error is different. This error says not allowed by access control allow method in pre-flight response. Ok let's see what is pre-flight response. Some course request options before sending the actual request. This is called pre-flight request. If a pre-flight request fails the browser will not proceed with the actual request. The browser will not send a pre-flight request if followings are true. The request method is get, head or post. If no header is used or no other headers are used except these one. And if the content type header is used then it must have one of these values. Let's get back to the code. First. We will see how we can fix the put and delete requests. Stop the project. Open program.cs file. Here allow the methods. Put. Delete. Run the API again. Go to the web application. Refresh the web application. Ok, we get success from all four methods. Open the web application. Now I am going to use some headers that I showed you in the previous slide. I am adding headers here. These headers will be passed in the request. The first one is the accept header. Then the custom header. All others are content type headers. Each with different value. Let's pass access header in the get request. Save the code. Refresh the page. Success from the API. Notice we have not allowed any header right now in program.cs file of the API. Come back to web application. Now pass a custom header. Save the code. So the request is blocked. Now stop the API. Allow this custom header here. Run the API again. Go to application page. Refresh the page. Ok success message from the API. Next pass the content type header. The content type header will only work for these types. Let's check it one by one. Refresh the page. It is working. 
नेक्स्ट इज मल्टी पार्ट फॉर्म डेटा इट्स वर्किंग टू नेक्स्ट इज टेक्स्ट प्लेन इट्स ऑल्सो वर्किंग नाउ टेक्स्ट एच टी एम एल इट शुड गिव एर ओके इट इज ब्लॉक्ड एंड गिविंग अस एर सो अगेन we will allow this content type header stop the api add content type here run the api project now refresh the page it's working now now let's discuss some interesting scenario suppose multiple web applications are using same api and you want to allow different methods for each application For example, you want only read methods for application one, and read, create, and update methods for application two. Let's jump to API code. I have made some changes in the controller file. I have added one after the names of all methods in the controller. Then I have created a copy of these methods with a two after their names. Now I want that the methods ending with one are accessible only to application one, and methods ending with two are accessible only to application two. Now open program dot cs. Comment this code. Instead of this code, I am going to add a new code. Here we have created multiple named origin policies. Notice both origin policies have separate URLs. this policy is for origin 1 i have named it named origin 1 next is the policy for origin 2 i have named it named origin 2 go to controller now we will add enable course attribute here and we will allow this method for named origin 1 create this attribute for get put post and delete method now for the name origin 2 which will run on this url allow this get method also allow this post method the put method and this delete method now run the api now we have total of eight methods in our api application 1 is allowed to send request only to these four endpoints and application 2 will be allowed to access the next four endpoints run application 1 okay success from all four methods now run application 2 success from all four methods now open web application 2 and let's try to access get method 1 save the file go to the browser okay method 1 and point is blocked for application 2 let's revert the code if you want a method not to be accessed by any application then you can disable cores on that method Now we have disabled all the methods for application 2 run the api refresh page for application 2 okay all methods for application 2 are blocked in the start of the video i mentioned core is not used to make things safer it just relaxes security and now i am going to demonstrate you this go to swagger copy this url for get method paste it in the other tab we are getting the success response so this means that there is no blockage now let's go back to swagger let's try this delete method copy this url now open postman tool paste the url here select type to delete send the request 
and see we have a success response. We already discussed that same origin is a security policy implemented by browsers to prevent one website to access data from another website. So it is the browser which blocks one website to access data from the other website. If you are accessing the link directly in the browser, then browser will not block accessing of data. And if you are using the postman tool, the postman tool is not a browser. So there is no blockage at all. I hope you have found this video helpful and informative. You can support me by buying me a coffee. Link is in description. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with my latest content. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.